Welcome to Off-Road Touring. We continue through Gordon Country exploring the rest of this amazingly beautiful area. With a bit of everything for everyone, we show you what this place has to offer. If you haven't already, go check out our day one where this adventure all started. In this one, we find ourselves in some cool flexi tracks, some steep climbs, along ridges and end up having a bit more fun in the playpen. Good morning, we're on our second day. We've just all woken up. I've started to make some bacon and then I'm gonna cook some eggs and I'm making some coffee at the moment whilst Cameron's getting the fire ready so we can sit around and have some brekkie. I'm gonna do a lot more four wheel driving today, possibly go into the national park. So hopefully it'll be a good day. So over here is where I slept last night in the tent with Bambi. I slept on an air mattress and Bambi slept on the dog bed inside the tent. And then she also slept with her little jumper on last night as well, because it was a bit cold. Yeah. She's just loving the pack too. Hey? She's just... Yeah, jeez. What a good morning. It's, um, yeah, not too cold. Not as cold as we expected, I think. Anyway, let's get this fire going. There's the fire pit. Over here is the shower. We had a shower last night. Just in there, a little setup. And then this is where Cameron and Grace slept last night in the rooftop tent, nice and warm. Play fast, aren't you? Hey. Play fast, puppy. So we're just about to leave oh, now. No, no, it's Oh, no. <laughs> right. okay. So we're just about to leave now. We've all finished packing up. We sort of had a chill morning. Mm. Yeah, it's been pretty good. Didn't take us too long to pack up. Anyways, we're going to drive out of here and find what tracks we can do for this morning. I think it's about like what, near 10? 10.30ish, 10 yeah, yeah so. mid-morning. Yeah, uh, but anyways, let's get out of here and find some tracks. And Bambi's now. Hey Bambi, you ready to uh, go forward driving? You look a bit uh, terrified there. It's like, please get this thing out of my face. Anyways, but this is how much room this horse takes up in here. Pretty much half the, uh, or over half the back seats. The creeks here are just so nice and clear and just flowing. I reckon it'd be really nice after rain though. But yeah, there's a lot of creek crossings throughout this kind of park, which is nice. Anyways, we're punching out through the main road which continues through Gordon Country. It should come out to some national park and whatnot so we'll go check that out and see what we can find and then if not come back in here and do more tracks. Well we um, went into the national park there. Um, there's not too much like you can drive in. There are some campsites which I actually didn't know so that's yeah. pretty cool. Um, would be nice. National park campsites and yeah. some walking tracks and stuff like that. Mm. Unfortunately though there's no dogs allowed. Even if the dog's in the vehicle, there was a sign that yeah. literally said, even if the dog's in the vehicle, turn back now. Yeah. So, so. yeah, just follow the rules. Um, but yeah, it sucks. Because there's a heap of like different sorts of walks. I walk through creeks or lookouts yeah. and that sort of stuff here. You know, from like 30 minute walks to like an hour and a half to two hours, I think there was even. Um, so, a fair few options, which, yeah, Grace and I. Maybe Renee, but not Bambi. We'll have to come back and do the national park camping and walks around this area. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it looked quite nice. So, anyways, we're going back into Gordon Country and we're going to go do some tracks and find some of the tougher tracks. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs>
Righty, yeah, so we now pulled up at the top of this mountain. Beam's out there going for a walk wherever she feels like. Yeah, got some nice views if it wasn't blocked by trees, but anyways, we are just having like a little picnic. Grace is having a bacon and egg sandwich. Renee and I are gonna have crackers and dip, so yeah, pretty good so far. We haven't done too many tracks, just a couple to kind of get up here, and then we'll continue our way up. Here just keeps climbing up from where we were at that lunch spot and this I believe is all like sort of a one-way track unless you have to turn around So this morning, so we were camped out here again and um, we went out to this main road and continued out which goes out through private property and national park. However, we've now come back up, done some tracks and just climbed this whole track here is just climbing up the whole hill. And then along here, we've seen that dam before, we've just been climbing along this whole ridge line, which we're now kind of at this turning point, which um, is just a little circle out here, nothing special. And then you just got like a bit of a view out there so nothing crazy just a nice little drive along the ridge line however we're gonna drive these tracks now have a look here and then see if we can get down that steep hill or not and then if not have some tracks down there so yeah let's have a crack at that it's been a pretty good day so far though you know pretty productive <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we stopped and had some lunch already and how have you mm -hmm. been enjoying it Renee it's been really good yeah something different a couple of you guys just live this life you know pretty much try to <laughs> yeah much the time. It's good. <laughs> try to around our work schedules of course yeah, yeah it is hard but yeah it's so nice when you just got to set up and you know you can just come out and do this stuff and I've got to say doing it with a dog as have been so much more fun you yeah. know um maybe not renee you know a sibling but any no just kidding i um, <laughs> have been bickering a lot <laughs> no it's fine but yeah no it's been great having a dog it's good that this place allows dogs as well i'm just sucks yeah. you know national park you can't and yeah things like that but yeah oh well uh let's go back and try and check out this hill and go from there I mean, it's sort of hard to tell, but this is the GoPro literally like straight. That is, it's very steep. I'm about standing in the middle of the very steep bit to get this shot. It's steeper than it looks even on camera, but it's bloody steep. 
what a beautiful view you get from here though of all the beautiful mountains. So last time we um, came to this track, we stopped up at the top and had a look and it was all like just big ruts, big step ups, all that sort of stuff. And we didn't end up doing it because it was late in the afternoon, but now it's all been sort of graded for a while now. So it's easy enough to kind of go down on our own. But yeah, it is still bloody steep. come up to this and we had some cows. They were lying on the pathway, but then they heard us and got up. But look how cute they are. I really want that little brown one. So fluffy. Hello. Meek! No! <laughs> oh, that was off. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much livestock around here. They're so cute. We've seen so many horses and cows and oh well, actually that's pretty much it but there's a oh, lot of them too. Yeah, there yeah. Was some kangaroos. <laughs> and a few possums yeah. baby tried to chase a possum up the she tree did. last she night tried to eat it. yeah, yeah. Just but... sitting there looking at her <laughs> she went up and pounced at it yeah she didn't get it though thank goodness but yeah. oh well yeah. <laughs> We're having some cow troubles. Don't get off the road. No. And it's nowhere really for it to go. I mean, it could stand on the side of the road like the other one did, like a normal human being. Nah. <laughs> and just turn off the car, we're gonna sit if, see if it walks back up to its friend. Because it keeps looking and mooing at it, so. Hopefully it does, because there's heaps of room to walk by. He looks a bit sus. I mean, of us. I can only see us. I don't think he trusts us. <laughs> Yeah, come back here. Walk past us. Can you help your family out? You're literally his sister. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been um, just snaking around the mountain here. And this track just has been going alongside of it constantly, but we've just come up to a turn off down the left here. So we're gonna go down there and check it out. So it looks like a steep kind of decline down. So good luck to us. We have just come back from doing all the uh, B tracks, so we've done all the one out here, all the ones in between. Unfortunately, there are a lot of tracks here which don't exist anymore. Like we yeah. went over to this side here, and they're sort they're of just... all overgrown or have logs and stuff on them. So yeah. you can see part of it, but mm. it doesn't go anywhere anymore. Yeah, that's it. So it kind of sucks. It seems like they need to update the map, 
but anyways so these are all the B tracks down here and these are all A tracks so we're pretty much done all of the park for what you can do and what tracks do exist yeah um, so we're gonna go to the playpen now just play around a little bit and then call it a, yeah. call it a trip Well, this brings us to the end of this video. It's been yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's a good. bit of a different one this mm. time. We haven't really done a full four-wheel driving video before, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah, well, um, we love, you know, hitting tough tracks, bog holes, that sort of stuff. And <laughs> hopefully we'll have a lot more of this content coming out very soon as well. Yeah, definitely um, had a good time. You mm. enjoyed it as well? Yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. And it was also good bringing Bambi along as well, apart from her chasing the possum. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, it's been pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was good. Um, we had lots of fun, so it was just a short two days, but... Anyways, that's all right. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next off-road touring adventure. Did you have fun, Bambi? Yeah. I think she's a bit zonked. <laughs>